Welcome back to Poppy Seed Mini. Today, I'll show you how to make six different miniature plants for your dollhouse using a couple of artificial plants I found at the dollar store. My mom and I were at the dollar store buying things for our upcoming dollar store doll bedroom challenge. So make sure to subscribe today so you won't miss our upcoming videos. All right, let's get crafting. Here are the plants from the dollar store that we're going to be using today. This one is a fake spider plant and this one is a fern. When I saw them at the dollar store, they both looked like they had potential, especially the spider plant. For the first plant, take apart one of the smaller pieces of the spider plant and cut and shape it into leaves. Once the leaves are cut, Arrange them tallest to shortest. Then cut a piece off of a wooden skewer. Use hot glue to glue the leaves to the skewer, starting with the tallest ones first. You can pinch the leaves while the glue is still warm to give it some more shape. Continue to glue all the leaves on, making a small snake plant. You can use the other piece to make a darker version. For the next plant, cut off the end of one of the long leaves. Cut around the edges, making it into a spike. Cut a couple long, medium, and small, and arrange them from tallest to shortest. Cut another piece of the skewer and again, starting with the tallest, glue them around the skewer. You can fold and press the leaves to give them a nice shape, creating a beautiful tropical plant. Next, since this was a spider plant, we can use it to make a mini one. Take three of the leftover leaves and peel them off the spine. Cut them into a long, and a short piece. Cut off the light part. Then cut blade-like strips. The pieces will look like chunks of grass when you're finished. Cut another piece off the skewer and glue your pieces on, starting with the three shorter pieces. Glue the dark side to the skewer so when the leaves hang down, you will see the right side. Glue on the three longer pieces and you'll have yourself a spider plant. Take the leftovers from the spider plant and cut out small heart-shaped leaves. Cut small ones, medium, and large ones. Then take a piece of coated floral wire and bend it into a staircase-like shape. Just like so. Glue a leaf to each step. Make short vines and long vines. Then bunch them together. Take a piece of floral tape and tape the stems together. I found the floral tape at the dollar store too but they don't sell the coated floral wire there. Now you have a beautiful philodendron. Let's move on to the fern and see what we can make next. Separate the fabric from the stem about two inches down and cut only the fabric part so you have a leaf on a stem. Cut the small spines off the stem. 
then cut into the leaf to give it a more palm-like shape, working your way up and down the leaf. Next, take a green marker to add some details to the leaf. Cut a couple more. I found this small jar of shells at the dollar store. I thought it would look nice in the dollhouse. Empty the shells and place the palms inside. The last plant we're gonna make today is a dragon wing begonia. Cut off a piece from the fern and shape it into a long teardrop shape. Cut a little notch on one of the sides. Take a brown pen and color the back side and then seal it with Mod Podge. Turn it over and use white acrylic paint to add dots to the front side. Cut a piece of floral wire and glue it to the leaf. Make three long and five shorter ones. Bunch and tape the three long ones together, then tape on the other five. Okay, we have all these plants now. We need some pots to put them in. I found a fun way to make paper pots that look a lot like ceramic pots. Take a piece of watercolor paper and some watercolors. I'm using my watercolor pens for this project. Color drip-like shapes with a light color, then go over it again with a darker color. Then I use water to blend them together and cause a drip effect. Let that dry. I want to add a little more color. So I'm going to add a little brown to the bottom. Once everything is dry, take packing tape and cover the whole piece. Leave some extra tape at one end. Cut out the corners. Fold the top and bottom of the tape down. Curve the paper around something like a glue stick and tape it down. Press the cap of the glue stick into foam core board and cut around the impression to make a bottom for your pot. Glue it into place. Get creative when coloring your pots as you make more. You could go on Pinterest for some inspiration. Next, take some brown felt and cut it into strips. Glue the strips around the base of the plants until they're wide enough for the pot. Then glue your plants into the pots. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more fun in our next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, have fun crafting.